Hello and welcome to 307 Miles, Tip City, Ohio. Here I'm standing out in front of this home and we're taking a look from the driveway right now. And the driveway looks almost brand new. We have a little clean off here from cleaning stuff out, but the walkway going up to the front door and the patio, this looks like a fresh brand new concrete here. Covered front porch, windows have been updated, roof has been updated large carport here storage shed that stays and we'll take a look at the backyard before we go inside but great looking curb appeal house next let's go check out the backyard and then i'll meet you inside all right so here i just walked out to the backyard the yard is fully fenced we have a six foot privacy fence here chain link down the back and then chain link down this side of the house here we do have a raised garden over here storage shed right here that has a loft in it that does stay it is a large one car carport so that could be something that could be boxed in later to make it a full garage and as you can see here it's a full brick home and large patio up here very nice and private back here next let's go check out the inside all right, so here I just walked through the front door. We have a large picture window with windows on either side that open up. A lot of natural light in here from that. Um, all of the blinds do stay on this home. Gorgeous hardwood floors through here. Coat closet. Now these shelves do not stay. The owner will be taking these shelves with them. The TV does not stay, but the wall mount will stay have a ceiling fan in the living room. Living room opens right into the dining room. The hardwood flows right through there. So our dining area overlooks the backyard. And then from here, we can go down to our bedrooms and then our basement door is the first door on the left here. And then coming into the kitchen, we have this butcher's rack will stay. The stainless steel refrigerator fridge stays. Nice pantry cabinet right here. Uh, updated door going out to the backyard. Kitchen has been updated. This is real tile backsplash. Kitchen sink overlooks the window going to the backyard. Stainless steel dishwasher stays as well. As does the stainless steel range and microwave as well. So coming through, we'll look at the basement here. In a second, let's finish out the first floor, then we'll go down there. Bedroom number one, this is in the front middle of the house, if you're looking at it from the street. Double bifold closet, double windows in here. Those are new, and those are uh, tilled-in windows as well. Ceiling fan, I really like that there's a ceiling fan in every room. The bathroom here, this is uh, new vinyl tile in here, and a big vanity. Could be a double vanity if you wanted it to be, and tub everything's very clean and nice in there bedroom number two we actually have two closets in here his and hers or if it's like my house hers and hers this is on the front left of the house if you're looking at it from the street ceiling fan in here as well and then bedroom number three and i might have the room dimensions separate or uh, not separate but you know out of order if you're looking at it online but you get the general idea uh, this is bedroom number three. This is on the back left of the home. And we have our closet here. And one thing you've noticed, hardwood floors pretty much just about through all of the bedrooms, living room, hallway, except for the kitchen and bathrooms. Next, I'll meet you down in the basement. All right, so here it just came down to the basement. This area here is finished, about 99% finished down here. Um, this is all kind of that Wayne's coating type paneling on the walls here. Panel box over there has been updated and there are plenty of open spots in there. So if you want to add a hot tub or, um, there was multiple, multiple spots open in the panel box. Then our laundry room and our storage room, freshly painted, nice and big storage shelves over here. And then storage shelves over here as well. So a lot of storage down here. The washer and dryer, the stackable washer and dryer here will stay. We have a mud sink over here. 
Here's our water heater and our furnace over here. And then those are those storage shelves over there. The extra paint and whatnot will stay. So nice big space. And really some of this could be finished off for anything else that you want as well. Next, I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this fine home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this lovely, lovely home in Tip City. Houses like this in this price range and this condition will not last long. So give us a call. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching.